Hey guys, we're back. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, a carving with the head turned. Now it's not going to look like this one, but I, I did want to show one of my finished pieces. That uh, 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 this is one I did, and uh, um, I, I just did it with a with a knife. But on this one, I did I cut out uh, a block and put me a neck on it. But I have I'm going to set this down. I've got two here that I carved just from a block. I didn't use the bandsaw. And I I, I wanted a more decorative base on, on there, so that's why I did that. But uh, what I'd like to do is uh, get to this stage on this piece here. And uh, I, I've even went ahead a little further and got the ears on this one and where the nose and where the eye sockets will be. And I drew on the mustache there but uh, i did do these with a uh, with uh just uh, uh carving it from a block and now uh, uh right up here is is where you start and I, I draw on these lines and you take off this area here there in the back and this being the front of the face right here is where the nose and eyes will be and that's yet yeah, it'll be turned but now uh i I had a pattern for it, but uh, I didn't bring it in with me, but uh, I will have a pattern, uh, a, a profile pattern, uh, kind of what it looks like, and I just failed to bring it in. Now, uh, I've got several knives out here. I, I, I use all these knives, but I just, um, in the old days, I used an old, um, old knife, a case knife. And uh, I got this from a fella in uh, Jonathan in uh, uh, Lebanon, Tennessee. He came to the Renegade, and uh, and I, I told him I'd use it on here. And when I got my Roger Edge on there, but uh, it cuts pretty good. And then I, that's the way I used to carve was with a pocket knife. And uh, actually, the the smaller blade is is a really nice blade too. But I'm gonna set this aside. And uh, I use all these knives. Uh, I'll use these and uh, just different uh, kinds of knives. But what I do, I'm going to start in and I'm going to take these lines out. And I'm going to come in from the side and start removing my wood. And this is done from a, a, a two by two inch block. And it's probably uh, maybe four and three quarters inch long. I've got it written down. <laughs> I'll have it for the pattern for you. But I see how I've taken these lines out. And that's forming the side of the head. And right now I'm using a little upsweep knife to... Uh, Carve away these sides. And by the way, everybody that was at the Renegade, I say hello to. We had a good time. And I hope you come back in the in the fall. Alright, there's one side. Now I'm gonna come around and do this other side. And now this weekend I'm teaching in uh Peter Engler's design in Branson, Missouri. So if you're up that way, just drop by and, and say hello. We'll be carving in there. Okay. And right in here, in this area here, we'll be... Uh, right in here where that ear was going to lie somewhere in that area there okay now i need to i've done it uh, well i've got a little bit more i need to take out right in here so i'm going to cut away on that of course right here is the back and this is the chest area right in there. Okay, now I'm going to take away 
the back area and what this does is starts to round the head somewhat of course right in here where your nose will be there's more of a point in there All right, see, he's shaping up. He can, this would be, uh, uh, well, I didn't bring my pencil in either. But right across here will be the, the. I, actually, I need to, to get a pencil here. Let me see if I got, Kathy, you have a pencil over there? All right, Kathy, she got me a pencil. All right, right in here will be the, Kind of where the eye line will be. Right there will be the nose line. Like that. But now what I've got to do is come in and I've got to start shaping the, the face like this from the side and the back. So uh, I'll put me a line right there. And uh, I'm going to use a, a bigger knife on this. Uh, I'm going to use this big old knife right here and start cutting away. And that right there being the, where the point of my nose would be. Right in there. Yeah, let's turn it around and work this way. Well, actually, I think I'm going to use that other little knife. It was, it's was it got a thinner blade, and sometimes that thinner blade moves through the wood a lot easier than them thicker blades. All right, there's going to be the point of the nose, right in there like that. Okay, now let's work, work the back side right in right here and the lines I got drawn on here I'm going to draw those back like that now we're going to come down this way and what I want to do is really kind of work down to, to where that uh, neck is as close as possible. And you can already see the roundness there. Now, we got to do a little bit more artwork. We're going to come in here, put our center line back to keep the head even on both sides. And I'm going to come across here and do me a center line right there also. And right across here. And one down the center area right in here. These lines are, are real important. You want to have these on as you carve uh, to make this round and if you carve it off you want to draw it back okay now we got that in there now what we want to do is start rounding towards our center line this way so let's uh, go back in and start rounding toward the center line And if, if we don't get this done, you, you see how I've done it on, on the other uh, pieces. But we want to go about, about halfway down or just about maybe right there. Because that's where the top of the ear will be. And we still got a lot of wood removal in here. And I will draw my line back on there when I get. Okay. 
Okay. All right, there's that side. Let's draw my line back. And I'm going to do it over here. That kind of right here above that eye line, we want to bring her. That's about where we want to start cutting. <clears throat> okay, we come in here. And start working that down in there. And really, what we're doing today is just really blocking this head in. We're not really shooting for any kind of um, any kind of details. We just want to see how it's starting to round. That's what we want. And you got to get that roundness in there. And bring it down a little bit more right here. What's the time looking like, Peyton? Mm, we got about 13 minutes. Okay, now we got that. <clears throat> Let's draw our line back on. Get make sure those lines are in. Now this right here, we got to really round that back to that uh, head, but uh, I mean to this line here. Uh, but what I want to do now is get these bottom lines in. That will be about where the bottom of the ear will be. There we go. Let me turn it this way. Okay, you see it coming about now. All right, and we want to come over here and do this side, uh, <clears throat> this side right here. Okay, see, we've got it partially round this way. Now we're still a little blocking this way, so we're going to have to really take off some wood up in here to start rounding that forehead. Just keep them working back toward my line. And when you do something like this, you really want to kind of check out the wood. I know it's hard to, to know what's inside of your of your piece, but it's it's always nice to know when you look at the end grain. That's a pretty good grain right in there. It's it's tight. Uh, this is a real tight grain in here. Uh, you want to check that, and if it's a tight grain, it's going to be a uh, generally a good piece of wood to, to work with. All right, now, that was the front. Now I need to do this right in here. Bring this. Are you getting that painting on camera there? Yeah. All right, now I am going to go back in. And I'm going to draw my lines back. And those are important to, to have in there. Because it just keeps your head symmetrical. And it, it just kind of helps you line up. Okay, now, what I've got now is, I've got, I've got all this area in here. I'm going to start rounding that. Uh, 
and let me see here let's take this knife again well no right down here we got to round this a little bit more mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. That being around this right in here where the chin will be. Sometimes with all these angles, it kind of throws you off of where you're at. Now I'm starting to round all this area in between these lines. I want to round that as much as possible. Because we're looking really for an oval shape. Oval shape head. Let's bring that down, down to your neck area. Like that right there. Now let's work on this side. We're bringing this back to this line right here. And as I'm, as I'm using this knife, I'm pushing with my thumb to kind of guide it and just, just to give me a little bit of leverage to shake this up. Bring that down to the neck. Well, on this, I got to turn around and go this way. It just cuts better going this way. Now let's shave this off right in here. But now, off camera, I'll, I'll go in and, and catch you up to uh, to this point right here. That's what I'm trying to get to right now, but it's uh, it's taking a little bit longer than what I thought here. And this, cause this is a lot of wood removal in here. Now I'm I'm removing the wood in between these lines here. And looking for that uh, oval shape that I want. And if I see where I, I've got some lines I've got to draw back on. Now right in here, I've got to tuck this back of the head, or this area right in here. It's got to come down to the neck. Get that, Peyton? Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of hard to see. You got to bring that down to the neck. And all that is going to yeah, like that right there. This is a little high right in here. This got to come down right in here to the neck. Okay, well, we got to take some more wood off there, but let's get this side now. 
I'm taking, once again, taking these wood off in between these lines. And I, I, I cut this base out with the bandsaw just because it, if I was doing it um, to show you, uh, it would take a, a pretty good while. So I, I, other than that, I decided just to show you what I did on, on two other blocks of wood that I had been working on. But it's starting to look round. You got to think round. Make sure you get all them marks off with the bandsaw made. And let's get this area right in here. And I will go in and draw my lines back here in just a second. Let's see, let's take some more off right in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw my lines in a little bit more. Okay, let's got this one here going. I may cut them back off, but uh, that needs to come down right in there. To the neck area. Right in there. Now, right in here, that's a little low, that's a little high, so I'm going to bring the nose back about like that, a little bit, bring that nose area about right there, but I want to get that line back in there to keep me symmetrical. How much time we got there, Peyton? Mm, got about two minutes. Two minutes? Yep. Okay, well, I've just about gotten where I want to be. I'm, this is a little, a little wide over here. When I look at it, I, I want to keep them kind of even. We may go over just a little bit, Peyton, okay? Uh, I got to bring this chin down a little bit more to the neck and right in here I want to cut up to my line because I want to form a wedge right in there needs to come off uh, but I think I'm gonna leave it right there I'm gonna draw my lines back on because I'm still gonna use those lines And this is right back here is really the back of the head. He's turned and he's looking this way. If you, and one more thing, while I'm at it, I'm gonna take a number nine gouge and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna start shaping that neck just a little bit. 
to conform with the the ball that I've just carved. Not much. I just want to get those gouts, I mean those bandsaw marks off of there. Okay, now, here's what we got. And I'm going to use this because uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to, uh, uh, off camera, I'm going to get it to look like this right here. So I've got more thinning to, 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 with the head and the shaping. Uh, I'll do that. And then uh, on 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 this one, I'm going to go ahead and finish this one because I wanted a, a finished piece. Uh, uh and uh, anyway, guys, with, with that, uh, 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 we'll get this one going, and I'll have the pattern up uh, the next time, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, happy carving to everyone, and we'll see you on the next YouTube. See you later. Bye.